Alrighty boys, let's have a discussion about war horses. So there's no dev replies on here. There is a dev reply, just asking a question, but there's nothing really uh, too informational about it. But I do want to have a conversation about horses. How do you guys feel about it? And in terms, do you think it's in a good position, in a bad position, and all of that? We're going to read what some uh, people have to say in this uh, thread. And uh, we're going to go from there. So uh, the thread is called, Where to Buy War Horses Now? Question mark question mark and a third question mark uh, the link will be down below like always and uh, let's check it out so the original poster says hi there I started a new campaign 1.5.7 and can't find any cheap war horses for sale to upgrade my cavalry 100 plus men all old places where I used to buy cheap imperial chargers are now selling saddle horses and only war horses I can find is very few three to five heads in several cities and they're way too expensive something like 700 to 1200 dinars which makes cavalry in this game ridiculously expensive. Especially when you lose in a battle several cavalrymen, it's a real pain. So the question is, where to buy war horses in this game? May the, maybe there's a new way uh, about cavalry to get horses cheap, which I don't know, because otherwise it just doesn't make any sense to use cavalry. All right, here's my response to it. I think 700 to 1200 for a war horse is steep, but I think it's still worth it. I know you can find cheaper war horses, uh, as this person right here states, um, that uh, Imperial Chargers, which are the cheapest war horse, go for 200 to 400, um, you know, at the best locations, at the very lucky locations. And then five to 600 is a good price, and 700 to 1200 is kind of steep, but at the same time, I do not think that it is bad. And I think that even with that price, in my opinion, I think cavalry is still worth it just by how strong it is. Now, um, he states that he finds three to five in several cities, and I think that's fine also. I don't think they should be running rampant, and I don't think there should be so much. And I think you have to kind of work for it to really get those elite troops that are on horses, especially on war horses. That's just my opinion. But let's see what other people have to say. Um, what else he say? He says, no, you're right. You just got to shop around and grab them whenever there's a good price. True. You can steal Azrai war horses from the delivery, deliver the horde and art of the trade in the desert horse villages, but it's better to sell them and buy cheaper war horses. Also, um, step bandits sometimes drop them very rare, but they do sometimes drop them. And also if you fight, uh, cause lords, if you, and you win in battle, they also have a lot of horses, and war horses are sometimes in that bunch of horses that you do get whenever you defeat them. Those are other ways that you can do it. Plus any other uh, AI lord. Why I say Kazay is because they have like the um, biggest concentration of horses at 35% average. But um, you can you can either go, you can go to Vlandia also. The Azrai have a good percentage in like the high 12 to 15 percentage around there. Um, if you beat uh, the high AI lords with a lot of cavalry, there's a chance they might drop a war horse as well. But Kazates, more often than not, they will. Uh, generally speaking, they are near impossible to find. You might check 10 different cities and only get two to three war horses, and most are ridiculously expensive. I kind of disagree. I think you'll find a little bit more, but again, it's, it's based on saves and stuff like that, so you might be right. And it's also based on, did an army go through that town recently? Did a couple of parties that wanted horses go through that town recently? You know what I mean? Like, if you stayed in the town and you waited in that town for 10 days, it would refresh and it, the war horses would pop up eventually. Seriously, in one large battle, I got something like 42 war horses as loot, and even the small battles, one to five war horses per battle isn't uncommon. Yeah, see, if you fight AI lords, it's not that uncommon. If you get into a lot of fights, they will, they will over time you know, pack up in your inventory. Then he goes, perhaps a scarcity to slow the gra to the growth of units that need the horses. I will say horses in general are very dependent on local market conditions. War has them drive even faster than food. You will indeed waste your... That is true. When there's war, and like I said, when there's a lot of armies that go through different towns, they pick up those horses quick. Uh, you will indeed waste your time if you try to stock up on battlefronts. This circuit is perhaps the best Imperial Charger route but if war is near, you should assume that leg of the journey is dry. Okay, here it is. So these are the towns um, where the Imperial, Char Imperial Chargers are 
you know, a plenty. Very cool. Hey, look, I'm going to save this and I'm going to see if this is actually true. And if it is actually true, I'm going to make a little separate video on it to just show off more people, right? But there it is. Let's see if I can make it a little bit bigger. There you go. These towns right over here. Cool. All right, what else do we got? What is this? I wonder why did they change Imperial Charger breeding places to saddle horses at all to make cavalry even more dumb to use? Ooh, we got the codes, we got the facts, we got a, hey, we got the, <laughs> we got the papers here. Um, player responds to that question saying they didn't. Every village that produces a regional horse also provides war horses at a lower rate, as they should. And one thing I have stated in the past a lot of times is if you're ever at war with another, um, another kingdom go to their saddle horse villages and raid them there is a the, the first of all you're gonna get a lot of horses regardless you're gonna get a lot of value regardless and there are chances that that uh, war horses do drop in those raids as well but if you're not during war uh, war time you can visit those villages and also like he states at a lower rate you will still find a couple of war horses but i think uh for for this guy speaking right over here i think he wants to find like you know 20 or 30 if I'm not mistaken, by the way, I read what he was saying. He wants to find like 20 or 30 in one village, or not in one village, in one town, which is too much in my opinion. I think the current status of it being very hard to find is good. I think some resources and some things in games should be very hard to find, and you know they should be very expensive because even though it might not be worth, let's say, let's say so the upgrade might not be worth 700, 1200 investment, but at the same time, the unit gets boosted up a lot by it. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's a risky investment, but it could pay off very well. If you get a, like a very sizable army with a lot of different uh, war horse type units, you could be, you know, you could, you could go on a tear for a long time and you can be a very powerful lord for a long time with those upgrades that, you know, might cost a lot, but at the same time, might provide you more value over time if that kind of makes sense right uh what else do we got over here uh we have another question so do lords just buy horses for no reason no um there's two reasons you should always buy horses regardless even if you don't want horses even if you don't want to ride horses you should always buy them two reasons inventory space Mules and sumter horses and camels, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I don't think camels are. Maybe. Some type of, some, some, one of the forms of the camels. They give you 100 inventory spaces. Uh, the norm, And then all the other horses in the game, war horses and the horses used to upgrade, those all give you uh, 10 inventory space. And then on top of that, um, you can have a one-to-one -one horse to infantry ratio or horse to archer, archer ratio. And uh, what, what will happen is you will get like a speed boost. So let's say you have a 100-man army, all infantry, just for example. If you get 100 horses, then guess what? When you travel along the map, you will travel faster because um, those infantry units will ride on top of the horses when they travel on the campaign map, if that kind of makes sense. So those are the two reasons you want to uh, buy horses and why AI lords buy horses. And um, they don't, AI Lords don't buy it for upgrades because obviously they, they don't require it, but the player does buy it for upgrades. Uh, what else? What else do we got? On the other hand, I don't know why many why many people playing who would be satisfied running around 120 tier one to tier three troops only, and only 20 to 30 tier four, tier six troops, no matter the reason historically or balance related. That's how I play. It erases a lot of the issues with things like fiefs not paying enough and feeling like you grind for three yards after losing a battle. Okay, I have no idea what this conversation is about. Let's go to the next page. Uh, what else do we got? I will say I'm starting to see fewer war horses for sale in the Imperial cities in my new 1.5.8 save than I usually expect, 
Hard to say if it's a real change or just coincidence though. There hasn't been really any change made to it. Um, as far as the devs have stated on the forums anywhere, I can promise you there hasn't been a change. I've come to see War Horses for Khan's Guards only though, so it's not too bad. Although I did actually not have some to upgrade the uh, Khan's Guards, which was at first. Since it's usually the nobles are much scarcer than, I don't know what the WH means. But yeah, but there's not been any changes the devs have talked about. Uh, let's see, and here's the dev response, um, but he just asking questions, not really much information there. Okay. Interesting. All right, I'm going to make a part two if the dev does respond with some information. But what do you guys think uh, in terms of, do you think uh, war horses should be cheaper? Do you think they're at a good place where they are kind of rare? where you can sometimes, if you're super lucky, find them for two to 400. Um, sometimes you'll find them for 500 to 600. And about 50% of the time, you're gonna find them for this price right over here. Maybe even more than 50%, like 60% of the time, you're gonna find them for this price over here. Uh, you can get them from battles, obviously, from step bandits, from different lords. Do you think it's in a good spot? Do you think it's worth it? What do you guys think about it? Uh, you have heard my opinion. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Ask any questions, any concerns, and I will see you in the next one.